Hi, my name is Damiano Catania and today I would like to show you how to set up a simple experiment with the IGCSE instrument with the help of the product manager for IGCSEA, Annette Kander. So uh, what we are uh, doing today as an experiment is um, uh, run the characterization of uh, an hair sample. We are using long hair fiber and uh, in this case we are using a 4 mm column. We also provide 2 and 3 mm column for a different type of sample but usually for hair sample 4 mm column is ideal. The first thing that we need to do before the experiment is to weight an empty column. We should record the measurement so we are going to be able to detect how much sample we are going to use. After that we can actually start uh, loading the sample. Um, what we want to do is cut uh, for length um, part of the hair uh, cut a strand of the air as shown here after we cut the hair we can actually generate a loop by bending the hair and using this loop we can actually load the sample inside the column and we push it through the column uh, usually around one gram of sample is required for measurement of hair sample. We can uh, increase the mass uh, after the measurement by adding more hair inside the column with no problem. After filling up the column with hair we actually record against the measurement of the column with the hair packed inside. By uh, subtracting the initial mass of the empty column we are able to know exactly how much mass of sample we are loading it. Um, once we recorded the mass, we are now able to uh, set up the column with uh, uh, the metal caps that close the column on the top and the bottom. Those two metal caps need to be positioned and aligned perfectly. So we can finger tight the top and the bottom part of the caps. The column is now ready to be loaded in the system. We can actually uh, put it inside our IGC SEA by opening the oven door and positioning the column in the uh, oven itself. We have to loosen the two clamps on top and bottom, insert the column, then close the clamp, screw the clamp in position, and then we can close the main oven door. The oven can accommodate two different columns and the analysis is carried out sequentially on both columns, one and then the other. After loading the column, we can now go to the software and uh, generate an ID for the column loaded. So here I'm creating a folder for this project that will contain all the information about the sample some of the information are required only for specific type of analysis. For example, sample density is only required for solubility parameter. Other, like BT surface area, is always required, even as an estimate for any type of measurement. The estimate surface area for hair sample is usually around one square meter per gram. Um, what I'm going to do now is show you how to generate a simple method for measuring BET surface area. The BET surface area characterization is usually carried out using octane as main solvent. So what we are going to do is a series of injection of a single probe, in this case octane, from high to low volume. Uh, so we start from a very high volume and then we decrease step by step the volume um, as a single injection. So right now I'm generating a method um, with different points of my isotherm, uh, only using one single component. And after I finish to uh, change each single step, I actually enable the FID gain uh, for the measurement of the octane and I increase the gain for the 
uh, step they had very very low volume of injection of octane itself. Uh, most of the time one um, gain for FID for octane is more than enough but for very small uh, volume injection we usually uh, increase the gain to 10. Uh, once this is done I can actually um, introduce custom setting for the pre-treatment of the sample that allows you to remove any potential sorbate that are stuck on the surface of the sample. So this is a, just a sample pre-treatment. Then I can load the method for each column or each sample. And once the method are loaded, I can start the method by pressing play uh, on the software and start collecting data for my experiment.